After driving up onto the high ground that is known as the San Rafael Swell, I exited I-70 and found the sandy dirt roads that led me to Dutchman Arch. While the arch was a cool little side attraction, the main event included Robber's Roost. To Robber's Roost, I went right across the front of the Locomotive Point, which is another very attractive feature along I-70 on the San Rafael Swell. Oh. Per Wikipedia, the Robber's Roost was an outlaw hideout in southeastern Utah, used mostly by Butch Cassidy and his Wild Bunch gang in the closing years of the Old West. The hideout was considered ideal because of rough terrain. It was easily defended and difficult to navigate in without detection, and excellent when the gang needed a place to hide out after a great big heist. We're in Nielsen Draw now, and I am racing the sun. But hopefully you can see that pronounced gully right back behind that big tower. That's where I'm going up. Robber's Roost. I jumped right into the steep ascent and it is pretty amazing up here. That's pretty wild. And then let's just get up this little gully. Look at he split. Well, it looks like that's the key right there. It's just slipping through that little notch. The secret passageway up. This is what it looks like up here. Now that we're in this little saddle here, we just pop up here and we skirt these little ledges. So we'll do that right now. Cool. little Karen on the horizon indicating we are on the right path. Worked my way up here and uh, looks like I just got this little scramble with some nice little potholes to make it doable. Kick ass. Here, I think, just like this. Grab this crazy thing. Ooh. Ooh. Crazy thing is pretty uh, brittle. Oh. I think way up there on the horizon, I can see a little cairn. I'll see if I can zoom in for you. This is going well. Man, it's cool. That Karen I was talking about on the horizon is right there, obvious as day. So, we'll just shimmy up these little steps just as a little side note this is vastly easier than uh, chimney rock I kind of didn't think I was gonna make it but this stuff is a lot smaller than the big big mountains Heck, this thing's practically a sidewalk why is that beautiful 
Ooh, it's kind of a loose sidewalk. So down there is where we came in that dark patch of foliage. And uh, those are the two spires. And then way back there is just a the coolness.
Heck yes. Excellent trip. Mission accomplished. So Robert's Roost is very cool. I'm going to have to stick with that story. I had a great time. I felt like my drone flying went a long ways. And uh, it was a blast. So now we're just going to get on out of here and uh, be stoked. So I'm going to just focus right now on being careful. So that was really fun and another really fast, easy one. Super sized bang for the buck. Uh, really minimal hand over fist climbing, just that one section of class four. And uh, it is right behind me where those big potholes are. And there's a big red spot where that's where you traverse left. So hopefully that does it for you. I certainly enjoyed it. It was uh, incredibly scenic and a surprisingly easy hike. I did not think I would make it by sunset and here I am headed toward the last gully and still got another 10 minutes of sun. So awesome for me. All right, so highly recommended. Hopefully you get a chance to check this area out. It is fantastic to say the least. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down draw myself a little sunset.